Hello, I'm Rick Plum and welcome back to this week's edition of the Lucia Capital Group weekly video. If you've got a 401k plan at work, chances are good that some of your investment options may include something called a target date fund. A target date fund is really just a mutual fund that's designed to create an appropriate allocation of risk and reward based on the date listed on the fund. So a 2030 fund may have a different, presumably less risky, allocation of stocks and bonds than say a 2050 fund, since the year 2050 is 30 years away and 2030 is just 10 years away. The, the idea is that the closer you get to that target date, the more conservative the allocation should become. Make sense? But you need to keep in mind that there are risks in every investment, target date funds included. Even though there's a date on the fund, that doesn't mean they offer guarantees of safety. In fact, Morningstar says that back in 2008, with a 2000 target date, they lost an average of 22%. So the actual date means very little. It's simply the date that the fund is basing its risk and return model on. So what are some of those risks? Well, I just mentioned one. Many people assume these funds are safe ways to invest for retirement and that you'll never lose money. Not true. As I said, the date listed is merely a guideline that the fund management uses to calculate an asset allocation model. It doesn't mean all of your money will be there at your target date, and it doesn't take into account the rest of your portfolio, which may include other stocks and bond investments, thus throwing the target date funds allocation out of whack. Another risk is that it can be very hard to determine what's actually in these funds and how they'll perform in any given circumstance. Each investment firm has a different asset allocation model based on that date, and they can look wildly different across various companies. You need to know that what the fund's actual allocation of stocks, bonds, and cash is before you invest. And you should know that with most target date funds, once the target date is reached, the portfolio model stops changing its allocation. So if your fund calls for, say, 80% to be invested in bonds at the target date, It'll stay that way until you sell the entire fund. This may put your portfolio at risk if interest rates go up. Remember, as we've told you before, research tells us that a rising glide path of stocks post-retirement may give you a much better result with potentially less risk. And finally, there are the fees. The average target date fund has an expense ratio of 62 basis points. That was in 2018. While that's not terrible, it's not great either they can really add up over time and the fees can be even higher for target date funds that are funds of funds since they usually have hidden fees in the investments they hold. If that's your concern, then check around for target date funds that have lower fees. You need to consider all of these risks before you invest in a target date fund. It doesn't mean they're bad. They may work really well for people who just want something simple. Just know that even something simple can be complicated and expensive. 